So Cyberpunk is on every platform, even Stadia, but depending on what platform you play on, it determines how this game will play and look for you. Well actually people, is that indeed the case? Well today we find out. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what I see and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. So let's not be around the bush here. If you have a top end rig, aka a monster of a gaming PC, playing on console won't really compare. Well that's what most think anyway. But actually guys, is that indeed the case? Well thanks to CDPR releasing gameplay footage on PS4, PS5, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X and PC, we can compare said gameplay and decide for ourselves the actual differences. Now this video will be available in 4K for those who want to watch it at that high of a resolution and see just how great this game can indeed look. Now firstly comparing the PS4 Pro footage to the Xbox One X footage, both on last gen consoles, if I'm totally honest with you, they both look miles better than I think we could have expected from such a huge game in terms of stress it will put on both of these consoles to run it. But from what we have seen, for the most part it looks like it runs great, and actually looking into people who have actually experienced this game on last gen, reports are that the game runs much better than expected just a little slower, which I think we all can say we expected. They have used the extra few weeks within the latest delay to optimise the game so it runs as best it can on every platform, and it seems to have worked well for last gen, which I believe was the reason why we got another delay. Now if we look at the Xbox Series X and the PS5 versions, we do indeed see a slight difference over that last gen as you would expect, but in my opinion like I said it's only slight in terms of a little better lighting, no doubt. Footage don't really show any form of load times, although it was said there were near enough none within the game once the initial load has been done. But in terms of how smooth it looks and will run, and how shiny it is over last gen, I believe we will feel it more so than we will see it. As the differences between the two in my opinion, the two platforms or the four platforms, the PS5 and the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One X, in my opinion is so minimal I'd be nitpicking if I'm honest with you. But there's also something very important to remember. And that is the current gen Xbox Series X and PS5 footage we are seeing is backward compatibility footage and is not that of footage which includes the patch which optimises the game for both Xbox Series X and PS5. So besides a little extra shine and no doubt faster loading, the game on Xbox Series X and PS5 compared to last gen with the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, the difference is minimal in my opinion. Now because we have PC footage and PS4 footage of the same scenes, I'd say it's fair to compare said platforms and add in the Series X and PS5 against PC as like I said the game hasn't yet been optimised for said platforms. So on screen now we can see a side by side between a PC and a PS4 Pro. Now looking at the footage side by side the difference is definitely there, what I noticed almost straight away is on that PC version just how much brighter those colours look, with the darks being darker, the blacks being blacker and the lights being lighter. You'll also notice the textures are miles better on the PC version of the game too, in terms of distance being there, yet textures are still in place as we see within objects in the background of that workshop. Also when you look at more so his skin with the shading on the veins on his arm and hand, and with inside that car the dashboard with the reflections and the buttons and dolls it's just way more realistic on that PC version. Also notice the shine on that bonnet or hood with the sunlight reflection being a lot more apparent on PC, the lighting just being way more dynamic for sure people. But what I will say is and to be honest I didn't think this would be the case but in my opinion the difference although it's there I can't believe just how great it looks on last gen, even still. I mean we know the cycle of last gen consoles are pushing to that 10 year period and you'd think devs have got the architecture of said platforms down, even still for a game as big as Cyberpunk is and how stressful you'd have thought it will be on last gen, the game is still looking very promising indeed. What isn't added here though is the aeroplane sounds that PS4 Pro likes to make when running heavy games. But all in all guys, I think whatever platform you play on, you will still enjoy the experience. I do think however the PS5 and the Xbox Series X versions of the game when that patch is dropped to optimise these platforms will look more so like that PC footage than the last gen footage in my opinion. But yeah guys, the outcome of the video is, well we knew what it would be. It runs and looks and will perform better on PC. But I don't believe you can sit there and tell me you ain't surprised at just how good it looks and seems to hold up on those last gen consoles. Because it does look surprisingly good. 
And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.